Donald Trump, the president of the United States, tweeted at me. <laughs> I've been covering Donald Trump on and off for nearly 30 years, from his days as a real estate developer in New York and a casino executive in Atlantic City, to his years in the financial wilderness as a bankrupt former titan, and on into his years as a reality television star on The Apprentice, and now, of course, as President of the United States. I was a guest on Brian Williams' evening talk show, The 11th Hour, and we were talking about a tweet the president had made during a week of lots of racial upheaval and tension in the United States. He tweeted out that he had a list of Democrats who were racists, and he intended to publish that list. I responded to that tweet by citing a section from Psychology Today about gaslighting. And essentially gaslighting is defined as when you accuse someone of doing something you've done yourself in order to manipulate them. And he tweeted at me that I was a world-class loser and a dog, and he didn't know why MSNBC was having uh, losers like me on the air. He is well aware at this point that much of the country sees him as someone who is divisive and that he's not taking the steps a mature leader would take to reassure people. Instead, he's reverting to form. He's acting like a racist. He's speaking like a racist. He's doing things that racists do. So of course, people are accusing him of racism. And he's not doing anything to dissuade people that that's not a correct viewpoint. So now I guess that I'm part of that little club of people that the president has tweeted at directly. I can tell you what happens to your Twitter feed. It becomes populated by the people who love Donald Trump and the people who hate Donald Trump and transfer those feelings onto you. And what you find out at the end of the day is that the United States right now politically is a mad, disturbing carnival ride full of people who don't really listen but do really want to yell.